This is an RJ45 connector. These are often crimped onto the end of network cables such as Cat5, Cat5e or Cat6 and these can then be plugged into a socket. If you don't want to use these you can actually buy a patch lead that is ready made and that will have the RJ45 connector already crimped on it. But I'm going to show you how to crimp one of these onto some Cat5e cable. In order to crimp an RJ45 connector onto the cable you're going to need a pair of crimping pliers. Crimping pliers look like that. Let's give you a close up of them. That's the back side. That is the part that crimps onto the outer insulation. On that side, those pins actually push up the pins in the RJ45 connector. I'd just like to point out that this is a cheap pair of RJ45 crimping pliers. A professional pair of these will set you back about £60 this pair was five pounds. So every now and again, when you crimp an RJ45 connector with these, it doesn't work correctly and you have to redo it. A much better option is to actually wire your cable into a socket and then just use a patch lead to go from the socket to wherever you want to plug it in. It's a lot easier wiring up a socket than what it is crimping on the RJ45 connectors, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. So to start off with, what I normally do is put a strain relief boot over the actual cable. I can slide that back up later on. Now we need to remove some of the outer insulation from the cable. To do that you can get a special tool like this which is designed for this type of cable. Simply put that on there, do one revolution That will then give you your four pairs of wires. There are two standards of wiring these. There is T568A and T568B. We are going to be following the T568B standard, which is the newest standard. If you already have an installation, you need to check the installation to see which standard it is wired to and you need to follow that. If it's a new installation, you are much better off doing the T568B as that is the latest standard. So we need to start off by untwisting all of the pairs. And we need to straighten out the wires the best we can. It can be difficult doing this, especially when you get onto Cat6 cable, which is slightly thicker. It is much more difficult straightening out the pairs. Now that we've got the wires straightened out, we can now start to put them in the correct order. So on the T568B standard, we start off with orange and white, and then orange. We then want the green and white, and then the blue, and then the blue and white, then the green and then the brown and white and then the brown. So once you've got them in that order you then need to straighten them out the best you can. So we're just going to get them all close together and we're just going to bend them like that until they straighten out. We've now got all the wires in the correct order so we're just going to straighten them out the best we can. We're then going to get the RJ45 connector and we're just going to put that on there. We need to crimp some of the plastic outer insulation in there so we need to cut off the wires to approximately that length. When you do this you need to make sure that you give it a really straight cut. You do not want it to be on an angle like that or else it will not work properly. So we need a nice straight cut across there. We now need to get the connector and push in all of the wires. When you push them in they will slide underneath the pins 
So that needs pushing in there quite firmly. You can now see that every wire has gone into the correct pin. We're just going to check that. And if you look at the end there, you can see that every wire is touching the end of the RJ45 connector. We now just need to place that into the crimping pliers. Until it's all the way in like that. And then we need to squeeze the handles on the crimping pliers. And give them a good odd squeeze. You can then pull that out. You can then visually inspect it and check that it is okay. Once you've done that and you have terminated the other end either into an RJ45 connector or a socket, you need to test the actual cable using a cable tester. Once you are happy with the connection, you can then slide up the strain relief boot and then you can plug that in.